What if AI could help you write scripts faster? Let's find out. In this video, we'll use ChatGPT to write a screenplay for us. We'll give it direction and have it do a lot of the work. We'll then do the formatting in a script formatting app of your choice. I'm using Slugline 2. And within a short time, we'll have a usable script to start going out there and making films. Our first prompt is to get things started. So we'll give it a description and a number of people who would like in a cast. So this is a great start. We already have a title and a synopsis. Let's go ahead and have it write out our cast. Now that we have the title, the synopsis, and the cast of characters, we want to get an outline for the script. And I think this is one of the best ways to do it, though. Leave a comment down below how you would prompt an AI to outline your script. So I uh, messed up there right at the outline using, but uh, always be careful when you hit enter. So by just telling it to write an outline using the Save the Cat story structure, you can see we already have the 15 point story beats, and we can start using that to just say, hey, write one, write two, and it starts writing it out. And you'll see if we don't quite like what it's doing or it's going too vague, we can have it rewrite and rework things as we go. But before we continue, let's go ahead and bring this all the synapses and outline stuff over to our screenwriting app. This will be useful for two reasons. One, sometimes the program errors out and we have to start all over. And though it remembers what we're doing now, it won't remember if we refresh the page. So we'll have to maybe feed some of this back into it to kind of pick up where we left off. Two, it's useful for us, I think, as well. So let's do that. So over here in our script writing app, Slugline 2, we have the title, which now we need to save this. So we copy Command S, save that. And this is just a comment, it won't show up in the actual screenplay when we render it out. Uh, we have the synapses, the cast, and the outline all right here. I won't go into depth about Slugline 2 as the focus of this will be on how to use ChatGPT to use it to generate the scripts for you. But if you're interested, leave a comment below and we can make some videos on how to use Slugline 2, which I think is a fantastic app. So over here, now that we have an outline, we can come up and reference the opening image. And I would say we just copy this right here. And then in here, just say, write the opening image in a screenplay format. And now you can see it's using the screenplay format to start writing things out. I do specify that because sometimes it wants to write it in kind of a little bit more of a novelish format. So, so it's helpful for us to kind of read over it and then bring it over into our actual screenwriting application. So we scroll back up, it gives us a pretty decent starting point. And we can always refine this. If we read over this and we don't like something, we can tell it to perhaps rewrite this a little bit. So we can go ahead and start bringing this over into our screenwriting app. So there we have it. We've taken what it's written and we brought it over into our script writing app over here on the left. And everything is looking really good. One of the things we might want to do, and we'd probably do this before we start bringing things over to our own app, or that we'll finalize the script in, is maybe we don't want this to happen in Los Angeles, right? So we could just say something as simple as rewrite this in Seattle wherever you want it to take place in. And it can then rewrite that for you. And you could change things yourself, but maybe it wants to change a few little details that should be easier to copy and paste that and bring it over. Now, if we scroll back up here, you can see the description didn't change. Nothing really changed uh, except this exterior Seattle day. So it may not look super helpful, but the AI will remember that and it should help it make decisions as it goes on. It now knows it's in a different location and so it can probably change a few things uh, as it writes the script. So let's go ahead and continue on with this. And we can do that by just scrolling up to our outline here that we brought over and we can say, start with the theme, you know, or start with, now we we'll just continue. So we'll just, again, do that right paste in themed state. And it should already know we're in a script format, so we don't have to specify that again. And there you go, interior car day. So you can see how easy this is so far, but maybe one of the things you're thinking is, well, these scenes are kind of short. Maybe I want a little more detail here. So if we read over this, the group is driving down the highway, the ocean visible in the distance, turning to the group, and she's like, you know this. So maybe we want to expand on Samantha's fear here. So we could just say, write. Maybe we don't even have to say write, really. We just say expand on Samantha, I think it was. Samantha. Samantha's fear in the 
this. So we're like, hmm, that's interesting. Maybe we want to work on that a little bit, even though I did spell Samantha wrong. <laughs> so we'll come back here and fix that. And then the AI should be able to look at the scene that it wrote and kind of expand on that. And uh, then we can start picking apart the things we see the AI doing and say, okay, well, I don't like this as much, but I do like that. And uh, just refine it and make it more of our own. So, so far things are looking the same, which makes sense. And we go to Kevin and Samantha hesitant. I hope we don't regret this trip. I'm just a little nervous, you know, with all the strange things happening in the water lately. Rachel, reassuring. Don't worry, Samantha, we'll stick together and stay safe. Besides, it's not like we're going to be swimming with sharks or anything. Ha ha ha. <laughs> like, obviously, where they're going with this. Anywho, the group laughs as the camera cuts to the shot of the car continuing down the road. So you can see we can, uh, we've expanded the scene, we've changed a few things about it, but it's easy enough to kind of like look at your scene, tell the AI, what do I want different? It kind of goes where you're going maybe, or if it doesn't, it might give you some ideas. The AI is definitely limited in things. I wouldn't use it for, you know, writing a documentary or making a script for a video on facts. But with story, I think it's got a lot of good things going for it. It's got all the way up to 2021 as of right now for like database and information it's using you know not current news or anything but you can go back to like let's say in a few weeks it'll be you know anything 1927 you can have like a lot of more public domain stuff and you'll be able to say hey write a screenplay based on hp lovecraft's uh call of cthulhu or something or write a screenplay incorporating elements of uh, we're, we're making a shark one here, so maybe the deep ones, I think it is, you know, the the, the kind of fishy people in In's mouth. So you can use a lot of public domain material to kind of create your scripts and stories, and the AI already knows a ton about that. So hopefully this video showed you kind of the building blocks of what you need to do to write out an entire script. Let me know if you use this method to write your own screenplays going forward, and what are your thoughts and... Uh, just general writing process now with AI here to assist. Thanks for watching, and if this video was helpful, uh, consider subscribing. I will be putting out videos on screenwriting and movie making and putting out movies I make. So stay tuned.